When Dollywood crafted the schedule of events for the 2022 Influencers Gathering, we were invited to be a part of. They selected a dinner theater venue we've been curious about for quite some time during our many visits to Pigeon Forge. We were thrilled to learn we would be getting a behind the scenes look and a full dining experience at none other than Dolly Parton Stampede. The show fuses the Wild West with equestrian themed entertainment, trick riding and roping, amazing stunt work, and some good old fashioned country cooking can all be expected and more while you dine and observe. There. I immediately wanted to dig into some of the history of the show and learn more about what it takes to pull off a production of this size and magnitude. Our Dollywood hosts filled us in with some rather interesting behind the scenes details before heading inside to learn even more. Our first time to Dolly Stampede. It's a heck of a truck right there. Look at it. So, this is our oldest dinner show. It is actually, this is its 35th season. The Pigeon Forge location of Dolly Parton Stampede first opened all the way back in June of 1988. We have another property just like this one in Branson, Missouri. Since opening, many millions of people have experienced the dinner show. There's 32 horses in the show. We have about 40, 42 that kind of rotate sometimes in and out. We were now headed inside to the backstage area, so to speak, to meet the resident cowboy, the talented master of ceremonies of Dolly Parton Stampede and Pigeon Forge, Jay Teeter. For well over two decades and counting, he's been at the helm of the production here. I'm so excited y'all saw a bear. Two bears. Two bears. They're so awesome. Oh, Welcome to the Stampede, y'all. Yeah. This is JT Hurst. Average age for the riding horses in the show, I'd say probably about eight. With roots in 4-H programs, county fairs, rodeos, and musical theater, his resume is loaded and his knowledge and experience with horses and show business is obvious. After meeting him and watching his outstanding live performance. Quarter horses are the absolute best horse, horses for what we do in the arena. It's kind of a smaller arena, a lot of quick starts and stops, sharp maneuvers, all that kind of stuff. Quarter horses are the best horses in the world for that. There are more than plenty of quarter horses in the cast of a stampede show. But Jay's trusty steed is an Andalusian horse, which sets itself apart from the others with its overall look and intricate abilities. Now, my horse is an Andalusian, which are actually from Spain, originally knight's horses in Spain. Um, so he looks a little different, he's a little fancier with the way he picks his feet up, and you'll be able to see the difference when you see Word on the range is Jay is thought to be the only cowboy this side of the Smokies, able to give Dolly a run for her money when it comes to glitzy wardrobe, sporting shimmering embellishments that easily catch the eyes. You're going to see our regular season show, but you have an amazing holiday show. And once you think Jay looks a little fancy now, you ain't seen that show. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't wear the light-up stuff yet. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> the famous line, and it's easy on the person that can now play Dolly. <laughs> I have a picture for her. Take it a moment to snap a few photos with Jay, our Dollywood host, Lynn, some solid dinner advice. Our tip before we go in is when you do get your meal, don't like do all your soup at one time because literally there is nothing in this meal that doesn't taste delicious dipped in the soup. It's kind of like oh, the ranch. Right. It's That's kind of like the ranch dressing yeah. and stampede. That's a real yeah. good tip. Yeah, right. <laughs> After having a unique opportunity to meet and learn more about the stampede's lead rancher, we entered inside the arena before it was open to the general public to get a glimpse of the preparations taking place before the big show. All right, so we're inside Dolly's Stampede, behind the scenes action, meeting the, some of the uh, performers of the uh, show, the dinner show, here inside where it all goes down before it goes down. Thank you. The arena is 35,000 square feet each show incorporates a 32 horse roster, along with a large cast of performers, trick riders, special effects, stunt artists, as well as musical performances and underscores that carry each scene of the dinner show. Pretty cool seeing what goes down before the actual 
Show happens. And here's where the 32 horses are in the performance. Aside from horses, other show animals include a herd of buffalo, pigs, chickens, ponies, longhorns. So I'm gonna walk down here and try to get a vantage point of it. It's pretty wide open with all the plates and soup bowls and cutlery and mason jars. It looks like classic uh, Eastern Tennessee drinking container, drinking from a mason jar. After taking in views from the top of the arena, we went to the lower deck to grab our reserve seating learn a little bit more about what goes on behind the scenes here. First eight, right here. First like eight. okay. We learned the amount of shows within a day can vary, with performance schedules ramping up for the holidays. So right now, um, we'll do either one or two shows a day. Saturday after Thanksgiving, we'll have five shows. Oh, it's so far away. Thank you. At this point in the day, we were more than looking forward to taking part in an old-fashioned hearty meal after an exciting and eventful day touring the Great Smokies. Busy all day. We're about to watch the Dolly Stampede. Is that a Super excited. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the moon. Yeah, I know. As Stampede's patrons began pouring in, the atmosphere was primed for a showdown with a four-course meal we couldn't wait to get acquainted with, as well as some 19th century show business, fit for life out on the great frontier. A very special welcome to the Dollywood Influencers Group. Our group was honored to receive a special shout out from Jay himself before the start of the show. Welcome to Dolly Parton's Stampede. can't show you everything that happens during a live stampede performance, but understanding a little bit about the storyline of the show should give you a better gist of what to expect if planning to attend while at Pigeon Forge. Howdy, folks. How about this? I'll give you the quick summary along with a few show highlights so you understand the basic plot of the show itself. I'll also give you a clear view of our four course meal as it was being served so you get a glimpse of our hot cooked family dinner, Dolly Parton Stampede. And really, a four course meal? I counted lucky number seven, for real. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to Dolly Parton Stampede. The show is based on some friendly and fun regional competition between the North and the South. It incorporates plenty of reminders that urge you to keep stomping and stampeding from within the imaginary designated boundary lines, support your side. Let's make some noise. On the count of three, let me hear y'all. One, two, three. That's what I'm talking about. That side over there is north. And all you fine folks sitting over here tonight are cheering for the north. We just so happen to be sitting in the south. Tell you this, but tonight you are representing that pride of the South. A fully immersive show that wastes no time grabbing your attention right out of the gate. And here comes the well, for that matter, either does the dinner. The pre course appetizer, so to speak, we were warned how delicious it was. The Stampede's own original creamy vegetable soup, served up in a soup crock with handle so you can easily tilt and sit while taking a slow and steady gander at the amazing live production before you. Don't go forgetting about the soup's friendly sidekick, a hot, homemade country biscuit, perfect for dunking. The entire performance is truly an unforgettable experience, with over 1,000 people attending a single show at a time. Now that's one hefty Smoky Mountain Supper Time get-together. Oh, Cookie here will hustle up some vittles in his pot. We sure can't wait to fill our plates and get that fire hot. First course up for mealtime was a tender, whole rotisserie chicken, racked full of flavor, and a perfect first step along our food journey. Sure to give each bite a good washing down with our mason jars of unlimited sweet tea, cola. From pyrotechnics, amazing stunt work, Colorful displays and plenty of horse riding thrills and trickery. 
it was becoming clear that Dolly Parton's stampede lives up to its height. Before I could even finish off course number one, course number two had made an appearance. An herb-based baked potato that arrived to accompany what was left of my slow-roasted rotisserie chicken. Reach on down, get a hold of those flags. Bring them all back. North got his, South's got his. Now the friendly rivalry between North and South has played out through various musical performance acts on stage. Challenges between opposing sides, plenty of audience interaction, and some fun interruptions sprinkled in by the chicken dancing, race ready old Western townsman and comedian Skeeter. <laughs> Supper's third course was a slab of none other than hickory smoked barbecued pork loin. And with perfect precise timing, with still plenty to feast on, buttery cob of corn found temporary settlement on my dinner plateware as the fourth course of Food Fun Time. But definitely not camping out for too long. It's the ladies' turn to bring that flag of metal home to your side north. Let these ladies know how you feel about that. Dolly Parton Stampede is an inspiring, engaging, and enjoyable all-American patriotic dining experience that met our expectations of what live entertainment while dining should look like while on a Smoky Mountain vacation in eastern Tennessee. Getting an up-close, behind-the-scenes understanding of what goes into the show, the passionate performers and animals who bring it all together, really gave us an appreciation of the level of talent, effort, and teamwork required to pull off such a high-end production like this. Stop and think about it. There really is no north. There really is no south. There's no east and there is no west because we are the United States of America. But surely this night of spectacular showmanship wouldn't come to an end without taste testing the town baker's most famous dessert pulled straight out of what had to have been a blazing wood fire stove, a hot, flaky, Apple turnover. Yep, we got us a slice. It sure hit the spot. Definitely an experience at Dolly Stampede. From behind the scenes to the, what was it, ended up being a four course meal? Really cool experience. Thanks to Dollywood. Sarah and I can now check Dolly Parton Stampede off our must-do checklist of fun things to do while in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. This was one entertaining dinner event we wouldn't soon forget. Fortunate for us, the night was young, and there was still plenty more to see and explore by the cover of night when we got back to the Dreammore Resort and Spa. A perfect night and setting to go for a night tour of the property. We'll see you back at the resort.